my name's Half Job George, and uh, well, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. That's because over the last 18 months, I've been building a Mercedes Sprinter four-wheel drive camper van, and then over the summer, we did a bit of holidaying. Um, I've had loads of comments, which is really nice, regarding the Land Rover, and I'm hoping to get back to that project starting now. So while you've been away, or while I've been away, uh, the chassis and the axles have gone away, which gives us loads of space in the workshop to rebuild this. Well, somebody once told me there was a great place on YouTube for somebody restoring Land Rovers and making a mess of it, and uh, I've only been back 10 minutes and here we are, making a mess. So let me just check that all the oil is out of this engine before we take it to bits. I'm sure I drained it, but it was two and a half years ago when I took the engine out. As you can see, the head has already been removed, and that is because, in general, um, I've always taken the head off an engine while it's in the vehicle. It makes it a little bit less heavy and a little less clumsy to be moving around. I don't really trust these engine stands. Um, the head, that went away, um, and that was rebuilt outside, uh, because at that time, I wasn't actually going to do a YouTube project doing everything myself. So, head's already gone. It's been sat underneath the television in the living room, nice and safe, as an ornament for the last two years. But uh, hopefully, once we've got this all rebuilt, we'll be bolting that back on.
16 millimeter. Oh dear. I always assume that these things are going to be Whitworth. Maybe this engine's a bit more modern than I gave it credit for. There we go.
Oops. It's a good job not building it, isn't it? Uh, now most people take the crank out first, and I think that's quite sensible. So the problem I've got here is there seems to be a step in the bore, probably where the piston's been sat for half its life. The piston won't come out past that step, I can feel it. Yeah. Well, I've been trying for about 10 minutes to get this piston out now. Um, I've run a, a, a flappy wheel of emery cloth around here, hence it's a bit cleaner. I've used some WD-40. There's still a big step here, I can feel, but then there are steps on the other ones and they came out. Um, but whatever, whatever I do, it gets to the top and gets stuck. It's not in very good condition. There's a very massive score all the way down this bore, so I'm not very happy about that. Nominal size for the bore is 3.562 inches, so we'll see what we get. This is set up as uh, 3 to 4, and I've got my half inch extension. So when this reads 0, that's 3.5 inches, and each line represents 25 thou. Okay, so 3.5, 3.55, 3.575. 3.576 uh, so that is 10 thou bigger which is quarter of a millimeter it's quite a lot given that the next piston size up is 20 thou so I've just measured this front bore and it's a similar story obviously it wasn't as bad as the uh, the back bore when I took the piston out uh, but it's this one's measuring 3.575, which is uh, 10 thou, approximately, 11 thou over nominal, and there's a step. Uh, so it looks like this is going to be going off to be rebored. So I'm going to finish taking all the bits off, and I'm going to price all the components up, and we're going to go from there. <clears throat> so before you can take the cam out, uh, you have to remove a small shaft that sits in here. 
and to remove that you need to take out a screw from this hole which is a flathead mine uh, came out with a little bit of difficulty and some WD-40 the shaft comes out from the top and here's the screw the screw sits that way in that hole there which lines up with that hole there right so the next thing I'm going to do is going to remove this row of bolts from here and then I'm going to take out uh, the followers and tappets and gubbins from in there okay and that's what we're going to be taking out um, and these are all marked with front so that you know which way to put them back in and we need to keep these in order because these are now worn together and I'm not quite sure what we're replacing at the moment um, I'm hoping not to have to replace too many parts because I'm tight like that to keep everything together I've just got some bags labelled them up with 1 through to 8 putting all the parts related to each of these in that bag now I was wondering how to get the roller thingy at the bottom of the holy thingy and then I came up with this uh, magnety thingy so there so apparently it probably does matter which way around these go and it looks like the big hole goes to the front and the small hole goes to the back if they're the same all the way through that's how I'll put them back well of course my method doesn't work when something's phosphor bronze because that's not magnetic I was rather hoping that gravity would pull it out and that doesn't seem to want to work either good and the the big side is on the front again and the small sides on the back so I think we're on to a winner right so that's all of that out and the next thing to do is check the camshaft out and to do that I probably have to start down here to take off this sprocket I can't pick a hammer up now without thinking of one of the, about one of the first videos I made on YouTube and a friend of mine commented on how I was holding my hammer looks like we're going to need a puller for this now before you get all judgmental I didn't have anything else okay Well, it worked. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Now I'm told it might be a good idea to replace the core plugs so you know that they're not going to leak. Well, 
Wow. That is one solid lump of rust in there. And behind door number two, cobwebs. Maybe I'm doing this wrong, but I need to come out. realized was when I started trying to take these bungs out that they're actually threaded and uh, as I was machining away with the angry end um, I started to see these lines coming through and that's when I realized that if I kept going but uh, I didn't damage the cast iron I'd actually be able to pull the threads out
Right, well, that's the engine completely stripped down and that's going to go off now to be chemically cleaned, reboard, new cam bearings put in and machined and then we'll get it back and get it rebuilt. Not sure what I'm going to do now. Better have a tidy up.